In this video, we'll see how you can email enable areas in SharePoint Online and Microsoft Teams so that you can file emails to those areas by sending them to an email address. Email enabling is popular with uh, Exchange Public Folder users because each public folder has an address and you can send an email to that address in order to save it to that public folder. Email enabling is not enabled in SharePoint Online generally. You can email enable in Teams, but it doesn't do a good job of managing emails. In this video, we'll look at a MacroView solution, which allows you to achieve the same effect as email enabling. That is, you can send an email to an address which corresponds to a project or client, and the email will automatically be saved to the area for that project or client in either SharePoint Online or Teams. Let's see this in action. Here we are in Desktop Microsoft Outlook. Let's forward this email to the 2222 address. Hit the Send button. We can then view our SharePoint Online environment in the Macro View pane on the right of Outlook. Expanding the Client Projects site collection and in turn the 2020 document library, we see an area called 2222 Refurb High House. Expanding that and clicking its email folder, we see our newly saved email which contains the invoice from Microsoft. We note that the subject to, from, and receive time have been recorded automatically. Let's go back to our inbox and save uh, this email, which contains two PDF attachments. Again, we'll forward, and this, and this time to address P100. Hit the send button. Now we can go to a different area in our MacroView tree, which is the MacroView Consulting team site. I notice that there is a P100 Acme Inc. folder within the general channel. If we click on that, we see our newly saved email with its two attachments. If we go to the email messages view, we see that the attributes of the email, subject to, from, receive time, etc., have been recorded automatically. If we go into the Teams UI, we can click on that general channel, check its files tab. Let's choose the email messages view. And here is our newly saved email, uh, which contains attachments. If we double click, that email opens in the Teams UI and we can see the attachments. So we've been able to save both to SharePoint Online and to Teams areas by sending emails to corresponding email addresses. It's the same effect as email enabling those SharePoint Online and Teams areas. Let's take a look at the process diagrammatically. The email is sent to a shared mailbox in Outlook Exchange, where it is intercepted by the MacroView filing rule mechanism, which then saves the email to the SharePoint Online or Teams area that corresponds to the alias address. The shared mailbox has an alias address for each project or client. The MacroView filing rule can choose the saved location based on that alias address. One filing rule can automate saving to many project client areas. You don't need a new filing rule for each new project or client area. Use these details for more information about automatic filing of Outlook emails in SharePoint Online and Teams using a MacReview solution.